Hello friends. Welcome to the S3 Cloud Hub YouTube channel. In this video, we'll discuss about the most important and the most interesting question, which is Azure DevOps versus GitHub. Both of them are Microsoft tools, and both of them are DevOps tools. So let's try to find out the difference between them, and let's see which is better. So without any further ado, let's get start the session. First let's see, what is Azure DevOps? So Azure DevOps is a collection of Azure developer services for building software. Azure DevOps includes the ability to do what most people use GitHub for, but it also comes with some other unique features. It is a fully integrated set of services that provide you with all the tools necessary for building and maintaining a backlog, hosting your source code repositories, implementing continuous integration, along with delivery and testing workflows for your products before releasing them. Now if we talk about GitHub. So GitHub is one of the most well-known open-source project management tools. Git is a version control system. And it is a website, or a platform, where people share Git repositories online. Azure DevOps, previously was called as Visual Studio Team Services, developed by Microsoft. Whereas, GitHub is developed in 2008 by Microsoft as well. In short, Azure DevOps is more suited for an enterprise solution, and GitHub is a current leader in open source market. So GitHub is mostly used for hosting public repositories, but it does not mean that you can't use GitHub for your enterprise solution. But overall Azure DevOps is most used for an enterprise solution, whereas GitHub is mostly used in the open source community. Both of them are software as a service platforms, and Azure DevOps offers you Azure Boards, which is similar to Jira kind of software for your project management. And then Azure offers pipelines, which is your CI CD solution. And you can do repose with Azure DevOps, and you can also store your artifacts with Azure DevOps. Now you can do all of these things with GitHub as well. Off late, I mean they're both competing with each other in terms of all of these features. But more or less both of them have similar features, like in Azure develops you call boards, whereas in GitHub you call it projects which is used for project management, and Azure pipelines is equivalent to GitHub actions, and both of them host public as well as private repos, and GitHub can also do some security thing, like if you have any security issue on your GitHub repository there is a dependable which comes into picture. And then as we discussed, Azure DevOps is an enterprise solution. So it's more preferred for private repos. And by default the repository that you create in Azure device would be private. You can anyways mock the options to create a public repository. Whereas in GitHub, you can create public as well as private repositories, and you can switch amongst both of them, which is very similar but GitHub is more preferred for your public repos. And the fun fact is that even Microsoft hosts most of its public projects in GitHub. Now moving to the next. Azure Pipelines can work with GitHub or any other Git providers. Whereas GitHub Actions are very restricted to GitHub. So this is one point, where you can use Azure Pipelines on a repository that is hosted in GitHub as well. But GitHub Actions are very restricted to only GitHub. Azure is pay-as-you-use service. So for example you don't want to use all the services that are available in Azure DevOps. Like any other software service model. You only pay for what you use. If you only want to use Azure Pipelines you would be only paying for the Azure Pipelines. And if we talk about GitHub. So it is a world of open source. You have a lot of community. And everybody is so crazy about the GitHub profile as well. Now if we talk about integration and API. So both of them have a very rich API. As well as third party integration. So both of them are good. And I would slightly give a point more to GitHub because of its very good interaction and integrations with the REST API or the GraphQL. So which is better? So let's rate both of them and see which one is better. First if we talk about user experience. So both of them are too good. There is no point of even giving a pointless for any of them. If we talk about the community. So as you all know, nobody can compete with GitHub. Because GitHub is rich in its community. There are thousands, or hundreds of thousands of open source contributors contributing daily for different projects. 
So the GitHub community is so active you cannot even compare it with any other thing. Coming to the CICD. I would put both of them as four. Cause people say that GitHub Actions is still a product that is getting mature. But you know GitHub Actions like I told you GitHub is backed by a great community. So GitHub Actions is going into places, and it's doing very good. So I wouldn't say GitHub Actions is lesser than Azure Pipeline so I put both of them as four. If we talk about the project management, then Azure DevOps has a very good UI and user experience, as well as it aligns with the softwares like Jira and stuff, and in GitHub you can do the project management, but it's much better in Azure Develop. So I can give four to Azure DevOps and three to GitHub. Coming to hosting and reputation. So again, nobody can match the reputation of GitHub. So GitHub is five, and Azure DevOps is four. For usage and adoption part, so like everybody knows GitHub is an open source thing, and even everybody when they have started they must have started with GitHub. Or even today if you want to go and host a repository, the first thing that comes to most of the people's mind is GitHub. So the usage and adoption rate definitely GitHub is far better than Azure DevOps. Third party integrations, so in this case definitely Azure DevOps is better than GitHub, because it supports thousands of extensions. So Azure DevOps takes a point more here. So overall if you take an average of this, then Azure DevOps comes to 4.2, and GitHub comes to 4.5. So this is my view, and let me know if you agree or disagree with my view. Please share your opinion on the comment section. So guys, that's it for this video, I hope you liked it. I will see you in the next lecture. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.